We're very, oh, we're very, how excited are we that it's the last Monday? Very. <laughs> Good morning, it is Monday and this is the seventh time I have tried to record this introduction. I've either got stuck trying to get out onto a very busy road, I've accidentally hit the off button, I've forgotten halfway through what I'm doing or saying, I've got interrupted. So let's hope that this is eighth time the charm or seventh time or whatever number we're on. I'm just on my way to Sainsbury's to pick up a little gift for my flute teacher. And from there, I'm off to uh, my flute lesson. I've also got to get £50 out for the piano accompanist for my flute exam on Monday, or on Wednesday morning. <sighs> that stings, that really stings. <laughs> so I've got to do that as well. Um, it's been an unexpectedly frantic morning. It is the last Monday before the school holiday, so I'm extremely grateful for that. Sorry about that. My stepmum called. <laughs> and now my little uh, tripod thing is getting really wobbly. I think I need to tighten it up. And we're about to go over a bump. <sighs> Welcome to a Monday vlog, eh? It's all going not very swimmingly. Where was I? I can't remember what I was saying. I'm off to Sainsbury's. I want to get my teacher, my flute teacher, a little prezzy. Uh, now I've got my flute lesson. Then I'm off to Blue Water. You've seen me go to Blue Water a few times, but this is a very special trip to Blue Water because I am meeting a very special person and someone who has become a very lovely friend. And I'm going to meet them today for the first time in person. Although it doesn't really feel like I'm meeting them for the first time because I feel like I already know them. But you'll just have to wait and see who that person is. Right. Traffic, Sainsbury's, errands. Bring on the school holidays. made a decision and I bought bedding. Are you buying you. a pillow? No. Oh. I will. Just not, not today. I don't want to carry it around with me. <laughs> Gainer's got a new way to wear the uh, Little Drops of Wonderful badge. That is... I'm rocking it. Yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> and Gaina has given me one of her bowls. Dodgy bowls. It's not a dodgy bowl. It's a dodgy bowl. It's a beautiful bowl. With a blue thumbprint. That's the art that's the artist's uh, oh, the state right there. That's the artist's mark there. I'm gonna put this in a bag. In the middle of blue water, she puts on a sock with a duck hanging ah, on. That is the Soul Sisters sock as modelled by Gaina off of the telly. <laughs> <laughs> That's very pleasing. We look completely normal. I am on my way to get Lilia. She's been on a school trip today and it's now about seven o'clock in the evening and the coach is not far away. So I'm gonna head down to collect her. I've no idea if she's gonna be starving hungry or just full of junk food. <laughs> um, I had a lovely time meeting Gaynor earlier today. Um, it was really, really nice to have a just good old chat and, and get to meet her in person. It's so funny when you 
meet someone that you watch on podcasts, which is ridiculous because we're all just normal human beings just going about our lives and podcasting about the things that we love. And, you know, anybody can pick up a phone or a camera and do it. It's not like we had to go to drama school and earn our worth as a famous actor or something like that. It's just ordinary people with phones talking nonsense about knitting. Um, yeah, so it's it's so lovely to meet famous gainer off the telly. <laughs> Um, we had a good old natter wandering around the white company. She saw firsthand my issues <laughs> with sheets. Sorry, that was a big old bump. Um, and we just, yeah, it was really, really lovely. And it, the time went so fast. By the time we got to half two, ooh, it's a bit busy in the school. Better stop filming, they're going to be kind of nuts. <laughs> It's Tuesday and we're on our way to the school but I'm not going to be heading straight back because Phoebe has got the school fun run. They do this every summer to raise money for the school. So I'm going to stay and watch that. I've got my clipboard for people to sign the cards for the teachers and then when I get back I'm going to spend most of the day practicing for my flute exam in the morning. Oh, I can't wait for that to be done. <laughs> and then I've got to be back at the school for half past two because they've got an open afternoon this afternoon where you get to go and look at their work and things and then trampolining and then tomorrow is the dreaded exam da, da, da. oh it's so hot <laughs> I've been practicing but my hands are sweating so much my fingers are slipping off the keys so I just have to hope that um, it's air conditioned in the exam room tomorrow morning. Um, I should say I'm just back from the fun run um, so they did really well I think Phoebe did about four laps of the playground and field they were all so hot by the end of it it's such a hot morning so they were all just getting some drinks I'm gonna pop to the shops to get the first of the teacher gifts and a few bits that we need um, and then come back practice for a few hours uh, or until my fingers can't take it anymore <laughs> and then get back down to the school for half past two. So that's it really, not very interesting. I'll film a little bit while I'm out and about, but probably not much. See you in a bit. Before I go, I just wanted to show you this. I won't show you the note, uh, but I got a, such a surprise gift. Um, I have a lovely friend, Sarah, who, um, who I know from Instagram, but we meet, we've met a couple of times at yarn shows um, and she's so lovely. And she sent me just, she said, oh, just a few things that I know you'll like. And she was so right. So she's wrapped it in a piece of fabric, which is such a good idea. I'm gonna copy that idea, because I can use the fabric. She sent me this gorgeous, almost like rhubarb and custard um, colored mini scheme. A cup of Snore and Peace, which I love. I love Snore and Peace. It's such a relaxing drink. Some stickers with the yellow yarn and this gorgeous little notebook now I love a notebook as you know but this one just looks like cozy Danish woodland 
houses, doesn't it? Thank you, Sarah. You are right. You know exactly what I like. And this was the perfect little pick-me-up thing. Oh, I need to do this kind of thing more often for people because it makes such a difference in my day. Just, oh, thank you, Sarah. I have been blocking the um, My Favourite Jeans top. I I didn't wet it before I blocked it because I was going to spray it. But then my spray bottle didn't work. So then I just sponged it all over with a really wet sponge. And it was really quite wet. It's completely acrylic. So I don't really know much about how acrylic blocks. Um, my problem was, this is the back panel. Um, the front panel is fine, although I am blocking that too. It's just drying outside. This is the back panel, and I did the optional um, mesh bit, which is a, which is a nice little um, detail at the back. Um, and I've definitely got the right stitch count, but it's, dra it's pulling it in. It's pulling it in this way, and it's pulling it in that way. You can probably, you can probably see that. I don't know if I've done something wrong or if I, sh I maybe should have used a bigger hook, or I just don't, I don't know what I've done. Um, I mean, if the worst comes to the worst, I can always rip it back to here and redo this. This, will t this is just, you know, an hour's work probably, because it's, a, it's um, an hour and wait yarn. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping that blocking it like this for acrylic will help to shape it out a little bit. But on another note, I absolutely love my blocking mats because before I would have had to like stick the pins in my bedroom floor and we would have all been stepping over them. But now I can put it on this and prop it up and it's out of the way. Fabulous. One of Phoebe's jobs is putting away the toilet paper. I'm not sure how this is putting away the toilet paper. Well, uh, I needed to, um, to empty it. Okay. Why don't you show us what you do? Um, got some toilet paper here. And you come over here. There's a little hole. There's a little gummy hole. And then. Just for toilet paper. You can put it yeah. in here. And what doesn't fit in there goes in the cupboard, doesn't it? And so, with that toilet paper. Wait a second. No, don't squash, don't squash. Hello, it's about five o'clock now. We're just getting ready to take Phoebe to trampolining. Um, Lilia doesn't want to come. She's had a very long, hot day doing her sports day and then she walked all the way home rather than me picking her up. So she's a bit tired. So we'll let her have that one. I'm going to take Phoebe to trampolining, um, which is going to be hot. And then I can't bear doing the usual Tuesday pasta bake because I just don't want to put the oven on. It's too hot. Um, so we're just going to heat something up on the hob from the freezer. I think we've got some chilli in the freezer, so that will do. Um, I've got a little drawer unit thing to put in our bathroom cupboard, so I'm going to have fun sorting some stuff out into that. I do like sorting out a drawer and a cupboard. It's fun. Uh, I'm very sad, I know. So that's it, really. That's the end of... Tuesday. I might just do uh, have a nice quiet evening. I've got to start sewing the moopy bunnies. So I've got them all cut out and I need to start sewing them. And it occurred to me, maybe I should have only cut one of them out, given that I've not made them this size before and sewed it together to check it all works rather than cutting them all out. So that might be a disaster. So I need to start doing that. But now that I've done all the teacher gift shopping and everything, I've got all of Thursday to do that. So that's very exciting. I also might go through all of the stuff that I've got the girls for their um, end of term and um, their travel bags and just check I've got everything I need. So if I need to pick anything up, my last shopping day on my own is Thursday. 
Right, so that's me. There'll probably be a little bit of footage from the end of today and then I might just do this as one vlog the last two days. So I will see you again in a few days. Before I go, I must just say um, that I've been seeing all of your comments coming through. So I published my last vlog this morning. It took a little while to edit and upload it. And then I didn't want to publish it before I went to bed last night. Well, actually I did, but I forgot. I turned my phone off. So I did it first thing this morning. So I've been seeing your comments coming through all day today about walking in particular. Um, wow, what a response I've had to my question about walking. I think... I think that's a real sign that that's something I should be getting out there and doing. I, like I say, I did used to walk an awful lot, um, and I do wear. I've got an. I did have a sort of Fitbitty thing, but now I've got an Apple Watch, so this tracks all my steps. On an average day, I probably do between twelve and a half and fifteen and a half thousand steps on a normal day. Um, so anything in addition to that would be brilliant. Um, it's all connected to my life insurance, so the more steps I do, I get free cinema tickets and. A weekly Starbucks as well so that's quite nice uh, where was I going with this yes yeah, so thank you so much for your response to that and just so many wonderful stories and just really encouraging comments about you know how I've been feeling low and just how you can relate to that and yeah thank you thank you so much right I really am going to go now I'll see you in a few days bye